Hello, my name is Jeremy Banks. Today we're going to be talking about channel mapping in the MeasureLink real-time software. Channel mapping is a function inside of MeasureLink that allows us to determine which gauge is going to measure which characteristic. For example, I want to measure the outside diameter of the coupling. And to do that, I'm going to use the quantum mic. Quantum mic is a high resolution, high accuracy gauge. I want to prevent the operator from using the caliper instead. The caliper is a fine gauge, it's easy to use, but it doesn't have the same resolution. So to do that, I need to tell the software which transmitter to expect data from. I'm using the micrometer. The transmitter hooked up to the micrometer has an identification number that ends in 42734. Back in the UAF Pack software, in the setup start dialog, I can see which transmitters are assigned which channels. The transmitter I want to use is 42734, and I can see that it is number one, channel double zero. So inside of MeasureLink, I need to tell it to use number one, channel double zero, to use the correct transmitter that matches the micrometer. I'm done with UAF Pack. I don't actually need it to measure, so I'm going to go ahead and exit setup and exit out of the UAF Pack software. And that takes us back to MeasureLink. Inside of MeasureLink, the current DAQ source is set to a USB input tool, which is not what I want to use. So I'm going to go into View and Run Properties to change the DAQ source. My characteristic is diameter, and I have a tolerance. And here's the current DAQ source. I'm going to change this. I'm going to hit the little gray button and change it to New. The type is going to be Serial RS-232. The port is COM3. The device is U-Wave. And the channel is number one, channel zero. This matches the U-Wave Pack software. I'm satisfied with this. I'm going to hit the default button to map it and then hit OK. So now the DAQ source for diameter is COM3 U-Wave channel zero. I'm satisfied with this, so I'm going to hit save and close. So in the bottom of the real-time software, I can see that the DAQ source for, is now COM3 U-Wave channel zero. So now let's measure. I have the micrometer, I have the part, measure the diameter, I have a number that I'm satisfied with, and I'm going to hit the data button. Every time I hit the data button, I can see that it's collecting data putting it in the characteristic. Now, if the operator were to pick up the caliper and try to use it to measure, the measurement value is being transmitted by the transmitter, but MeasureLink is actually preventing it from being used. So even though that I'm hitting the button, it's not taking the data. So this keeps me from using the wrong gauge. The operator can physically just not do it. So I'm gonna put the caliper back, grab the mic, Piece number four. For more information on the MeasureLink real time software, please visit our website at Mitateo.com or give us a call at 888 Mitateo.